Welcome back, everyone. In the last episode, we strategized and set up our plan for rescuing all the hostages. I also went and screwed around with the quartz and ornaments for a while <laughs> to try to get better arts. That took up the majority of the last episode. And now in this one, we're going to actually go start the mission and try to rescue all the hostages. Ah, you're here. Good. Once the operation begins, you won't have any opportunity to return to the city. So if you still have loose ends to tie up, speak now or forever hold your peace. We should be good, because I don't have any like side quests or anything at the moment. Let's review the operation. So, are we going to meet back here? Well, this is an Emerald Monument rest area, so this should be the place. The only real issue is whether or not Lieutenant Schwarz and her men can get here undetected. No need to worry about that. Well, yeah, she's awesome. Whoa, when did you get here? <laughs> nice work staying hidden in Grand Cell. We have quite a few sympathizers among the citizens. We finished our preparations. We can begin whenever you're ready. All right. We're waiting on your order, Estelle. Huh? My order? You were the ones who originally received Her Majesty's request. So we're waiting on your command before we begin. But I... I'm just a rookie. That really doesn't matter. I don't think you'll have a problem. Just do it without shouting, okay? We'll be there to help. We have no objections. I, uh... Have a little faith in yourself. Don't worry about the trivial details. Just deal with things as they come. Right. Okay then, here goes. Everyone, let's get those hostages rescued. Why do I have goosebumps right now? Why is that a thing? I'm so freaking hungry. Isn't it time to change shifts yet? Come on, stay focused. There's no telling when the Royal Guardsmen might finally show themselves. There weren't more than ten escapees. If the colonel really put his mind to it, we could hunt a lot of them down in no time. If you think it's so easy, then go ahead and try. <laughs> that epic music shift, though. <laughs> That's perfect. What? Lieutenant Schwarz? All those stupid dogs. Listen up, we have word from the ID ship. We apparently have a lock on the Royal Guardsmen. If we get there quickly, this will be our chance to wipe them out. Roger. Roger, roger. That settles that. <laughs> that is a lot of special ops soldiers. Idiots. The airship's locked down. You'll never be able to use it. If you'd just done as the colonel said, we would have spared your lives. But now you're going to die, and you've only got your own stubbornness to blame. Take this! B Bracers? You can't be serious. They're not actually going to try standing against the royal army. Sorry to disappoint you, but you've already been marked as criminals. By order of the queen, you will let us pass. Damage parties on the move. We'll go ahead and lure the remaining forces into the front gardens. You can break into the villa while they're distracted. Sounds good. ADS be with all of you. I, si I have like massive goosebumps right now. God, these games. Alright, looks like they went for it. Now's our chance to sneak in. I don't think you can sneak with a man like Zinn in your party. <laughs> if we're being completely honest here. So this is the Herb Royal Villa. It's gorgeous. It certainly gives the castle a run for its mira. What well, is a royal family residence? Oh, there's more soldiers. Oops, look like the welcoming committee is here. Who are you people? You don't need to know our names. 
Words will serve no purpose here. Let's go. Okay, I kind of want to try some of these new AoE arts. I haven't tried them yet. Uh, did he have one? No, I think just Stone Impact. Oh, dang it. He moved out of the circle. What do you have? Well, that is pretty stinking cool. wasn't bad. Okay. Since I should be able to do a decent amount of damage with just attacks, but I wanted to try out my new abilities. They're giving a decent amount of experience, too. Now, where's the princess being held? This place is huge. We'll just have to search it room by room. If we just hang around here, you can bet we're going to have more company. And soon. Let's get a move on. Okay. What? Who are you people? Why is that always their first question? Oh, dang it, there's a dog. Um... Yeah, with any luck, they'll move into the circle. Crafts you have. Mm. Oh, they like all moved out of his circle. Oh, that was nice. I I like that one. God's music is awesome. Not fun. Attacked out of nowhere. Looks like there's still quite a few soldiers in the villa. They're patrolling the corridor in the central courtyard periodically. Our only option will be to silence anyone who sees us. Yes, sir. This place is huge! Good god. library. Make sure there's no, like, books on the shelf I can read. Dang it! I don't feel like dealing with you. That didn't do as much damage as I had hoped. injured is Zen, so we'll just do that. I 
Luckily, a lot of the rooms are really easy to clear. They're pretty small. Nicely done, Estelle. Ooh. Imperial style of ace. Eastern style of ace. Red plate. Okay. Neat that you can actually look at all the stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna continue checking out the small rooms around the courtyard first. Ooh! Who, who are you people? Crap, we totally picked the wrong room. Hmm? What are you doing here? Ain't I seen you before? Good evening, we're with the Bracer Guild. No need to get up, just enjoy yourselves and rest well. Um... <laughs> Didn't take a single hit there. Phew. Well, that's taken care of. They're too drunk to really know what's going on. It's like some kind of bar. Same as the one in the castle. P please don't kill me. I I'm not with them. We know that. You work at the villa, right? We've come to help at the request of Her Majesty the Queen. What? Really? You're honestly here to save us? Yes. So would you calm down already? Phew. Adios be praised. I thought I was done for when my reporter friend was taken away. Ha ha! I hope he's alright. Reporter friend? You must be Neil. You know him? Ah, I see. Yes, I'm the one who contacted him. He came to get an interview with the princess, who was being guarded here. His passion for his work is hard to argue with, so I wound up sneaking him in and showing him the way. But he was spotted and taken prisoner? Yes. And much to my shame, it was only then that I realized the severity of the situation. I heard that Her Majesty was being kept here, to protect her from any potential terrorist assault. But the truth is that she's being held prisoner by the Intelligence Division. I was so glad that she was coming, that it simply had never occurred to me. I am truly unfit for my position. Come on, no need to be so depressed. Would you happen to have any idea where the prisoners are being held? Yes, they've all been gathered in the Crest Room, which is which is the innermost chamber. It's a large banquet hall used for events like the formal signing of treaties. Got it. All right, let's go check it out. Can I get anything from him? Oh, dang it. Um sound at the end of Waikahana is horrible. Hmm. 
Actually, I should have used... Um... Okay, innermost chamber. That means I'm not even close to it yet. Ugh, oh, dang it. Really? Oh yeah, that one is way more useful. Okay, can I see a map? Yeah, I can. I'm almost all the way around. Ugh, really? I don't want to fight you anymore. Go away. So that'll go back in the building. I don't get a map of the inside. Okay, that was the entrance. That was the other door I went out. There's nowhere else in here I can go, so now I just need to walk all the way back around to the center part. Oh, that's a really pretty fountain. Oh no. It seems pretty solid, and the locking me mechanism is quite secure. We definitely won't be able to get in without the key. Hmm, maybe we should go talk to that young Chamberlain. If I can remember which room he was in... I think was this one. Ah, so it is locked then. The key is normally in the possession of the Intelligence Division Company Commander. I believe he left when the terrorists showed up. <sighs> Which means it was taken by the ones who ambushed Lieutenant Schwarz and her men. Not good. There's no time to go back. Just a moment. There's a spare key to that door. It's here somewhere. If memory serves, I believe it's hidden somewhere in the gallery. Roger that. Gallery. In one of the vases, I'm sure. I just gotta remember which room was the gallery. Oh! I'm a good guesser. I was thinking inside the giant vase, but I figured I would poke them all just in case. I didn't mean to do Estelle's, but that's okay.
Okay. Who are you? Why do you look so familiar? Hey, you guys won the martial arts competition. That means you're with the Bracer Guild. That's right. I don't suppose we could persuade you to just forget you saw us? Shut it! We're defenders of an impregnable fortress. You want past us? You have to go through us. Okay. That's what I will do then. Ooh, okay. Well, that's not ideal. Okay. Oh, shoot. I meant to change it to use the correct one. I was not expecting that. <laughs> not expecting that at all. Ah, oh, dang it, I did it again. I meant to change his oral blast. I keep forgetting to do that. These guys are stronger than the rest of the soldiers were. Um... There we go. Now you heal everybody, please and thanks. God, I wish the range on Earth Wall was bigger. No, I won't be that evil. I was considering stopping this episode and making you guys wait till the next one. Y you Yo, we're here to save your bacon. Hello, Neil. You don't look in too bad a shape. Are you serious? Estelle? Joshua? I never thought I'd see you here. Huh? Y you're the princess. It's a pleasure to meet you. We're with the Bracer Guild? I think it's a little late for introductions. Estelle's about to learn the truth! So, we meet again, as promised. Er Chloe? Estelle, I sincerely hope you're joking. Sincerely? What am I- <laughs> What words am I saying right now? I sincerely hope you're joking. You ought to have recognized me sooner. But not with the dress and the hair and the things. What happened? Pardon us, Chloe. Still doesn't know how to doubt people. Hey, what the hell's that supposed to mean? <laughs> There's the Estelle I know. And Joshua? You'll still use that name for me? Yes, since it seems to be the one you'd prefer. Would you rather I use your real name? No, but thank you. I'm glad to hear it. Okay, so what are you doing here, Chloe? And for that matter, why isn't the princess here? She is... she... she's... Oh, Estelle is dense. Uh, she's right in front of you. That's the queen's granddaughter, Princess Claudia. But... <laughs> the mo 
moment it clicks in her brain. I'm sorry that I couldn't tell you. I had planned to tell both of you the truth when we next met in Grand Cell, but then Colonel Richard had me detained. Ugh, but why? Why would the princess be hiding out in an ordinary school? And why did you have us call you Chloe? I'd like for you to keep calling me that. My real name is Claudia von the name I can't pronounce. Chloe is a pet name that Jill came up with using bits from my whole name. Really? Uh, then what about your hair? Oh, this is just a wig. If I had the same hairdo as when I was on campus, it would probably just create trouble. Can't believe I missed the connection myself. I've seen your picture often enough, and I remember you from the mayoral scandal in Ruan, but I never put two and two together. <laughs> I'm sorry. It doesn't seem that Uncle Dunin or Mayor Dalmor recognized me either. Oh yeah, and the Duke's even related to you. Oh, I forgot something important. I see. To all three of you, I extend my deepest gratitude for coming to rescue me. Ah, uh, it was nothing. Heck, if we'd known that it was our Chloe in here, no one would have had to ask us. Estelle? <laughs> no doubt. You should save your thanks for Her Majesty, as she's the one who deserves them. She had no concern for herself, just that we should save you. I think your safety will give her the strength to resist the Colonel's demands, though doing so may endanger her life. Yes, that is her way. If something is not done, then she is in grave danger. I think I've seen enough of this little farce. Princess? Brienne! What the? She's General Morgan's granddaughter. He's imprisoned at the Hawken Gate. I'd say they're taking her to keep him from causing any trouble. Just as they did with you and Her Majesty. This isn't just some idle threat. Every man in the Special Ops has a dream, and we will stop at nothing to achieve it. And that's something you're proud of? I'll make you a deal, Sergeant. Please, take me as your hostage rather than the child. Heh, <laughs> not a chance. I know I said we'll stop at nothing, but even we don't have the nerve to harm a member of the royal family. General Morgan's grandkid, on the other hand, suits our needs just fine. She's a valuable hostage, and it's not going to cause any real problems if she was to end up getting hurt. You're a monster. I'd have said coward myself. Pathetic, disgusting, sick. Pick an adjective. You can talk all you want. It's almost time for the patrols to return from the Royal Avenue. Then we can round up the guardsmen and the bracers. Not bad for one night's work. Oh, I'm afraid that won't be happening. We already took your buddies out on our way over here. <gasps> you can't see what dumb face I'm making right now, but I'm making a very surprised, very dumb face. Shira! <laughs> there, there. It's alright. Hi, you two. Long time no see. Shira? You came. Damn it all. Who the hell do you think you are? <sighs> Some people just have no manners. Yes! How'd you get him out? Think of that as my special gift. That's just cruel. Hey, who fired that shot? Hmm, who do we know that uses a gun? <laughs> God, it's still a stone, but I love her. Olivier, I'd guess. Bingo! And the star makes his dramatic entrance. Please, hold your applause until after the performance has ended. <laughs> and the drama turns into a comedy. Nice seeing you again, Shirazard. It's been a long time. Indeed it has. I never thought I'd find you in Liberal. But I was honestly quite relieved when I heard that you'd fallen in with the stone Joshua. Well, I think you're overestimating my capabilities, like usual. As for you, you've only become more beautiful. I barely even recognized you. Oh, really? Hmm. I am suddenly brimming over with something akin to jealousy. Am I merely a toy to be used when convenient and cast aside when boredom sets in? Hey, Olivier. Ina's been wanting to see you. She's hoping to go out for drinks again. Forgive me, I have committed a grave offense. I 
swear, none of you ever change. I'm glad to see you, Shira. But I thought that the Royal Army had the checkpoints completely sealed off. Yes, but we crossed Valeria Lake by boat. And docked at Grand Cell Harbor. That's one way around a problem. But how did you wind up falling in with the failed... Excuse me. Traveling musician. We ran into each other at the local guild branch. He was like a lost puppy, so I didn't have much choice other than to bring him along. I simply couldn't allow such an amusing and interesting show to go on without me. And may I ask who this fair lady is? Oh right, introductions. This is the Queen's granddaughter, Her Highness Princess Claudia. She's a friend of ours. It is a pleasure to meet you both. Thank you very much for coming to help me. Think nothing of it. I'm simply doing my duty as a bracer. And I could scarcely consider myself a gentleman if I did not leap to the aid of a lovely lady of noble birth. The honor and pleasure at this meeting is entirely my own. Your Highness, are you well? Julia? Yeah. Sieg! <laughs> Good. I'm happy to see you again. Thank goodness you're unharmed. I was so worried. The feeling is mutual. So it was Sieg that dropped off the letter. I knew it! <laughs> Before long, the bracers involved in the diversion and the royal guardsmen joined forces. After seeing to it that the rescued hostages could get some rest, Estelle and company gathered to assess their current situation. Oh, they just stayed at the villa? I guess that works. Words cannot express my shame. If not for my ineptitude, none of this would have come to pass. I am so ashamed I could take my own life, were it something to be permitted. Please do not say such things. I'm just happy to see you alive and unharmed. Thank you for coming to save me. Your Highness. Not that I'm not moved by all this, but I have to ask, why is Sieg still here? He is Her Highness's escort, as well as a messenger for the Royal Guardsmen. After all, did he not deliver the letter to your hotel? Yes! I knew it! I'm smart. I knew it was Sieg! Oh, th that night! I thought it might have been him. That must also be how you learned of Her Majesty's request. Yes, I heard of it from Sieg. Her Majesty sent word through him from the Royal Keep. But the crest room in which Princess Claudia was held had no windows for Sieg to use. I was very worried when I was unable to make contact. You just about gave me a heart attack, though, when you sent that message to us. Sieg... That was just plain mean of you to leave the letter and not let us know it was you. He says he's sorry. It's okay. By the way, have all the special ops troops been dealt with? Almost all of the soldiers in the villa have been restrained. However, there are quite a few left in Grand Cell Castle. Much of the Royal Army is under Intelligence Division control, even outside of Grand Cell. If we're not careful, we run the risk of them seizing control of this building and branding us all as rebels. Whoa, I haven't even, hadn't even thought about that. It's a good point. I think it would be best if we were to get Chloe to a safer location at the very least. Perhaps we could seek asylum at the Erebonian or Republic embassies? Since they're considered foreign territory, it would make it very difficult for them to lay a hand on her. There's also that special ops ship that we seized nearby. We could use that to allow her to flee the country for the time being. It wouldn't solve the whole problem, but it would buy us some time to find a better solution, at the very least. I agree. Regardless, we need to find some way to get her to safety. Um, everyone? I understand the difficulties of the current situation, but would it be possible to make an official request of the Bracers? The hostages have been rescued, so I think it'll be alright. Of course, it depends on what the contents of the request are. If so, I must ask you to do the impossible. Will you help in retaking the royal ca castle and rescuing her majesty? Y your highness. I see. That's right. This time we have to help the queen. To be honest, I consider the question to be ridiculous, because the answer is obvious. But, your highness, this is no small thing you're asking for. Quite right. There's no chance that a frontal assault would work, even with the capabilities of everyone here. 
I think that captured special ops ship has potential, but we're going to need some kind of seriously clever trick. I have an idea. If everyone will please look at this. Hmm, what's this map of? It's an ancient diagram of the sewers below Grand Cell. One of the things it lays out is the path that leads to the castle cellar. Ooh. What? What's the meaning of this? How can we have lost contact with the Herb Royal Villa? Most likely it has fallen to an external force. Either the guardsmen or the bracers. Those interfering little... Were you not in command of that division, second lieutenant? It is a pity. But what's done is done. Obsessing about it now will accomplish nothing. Furthermore, we must strengthen the castle's defenses to ensure that Her Majesty is not taken. I don't need you to tell me that. I want the castle gate sealed. Not a soul is to enter from here on out. The only attacks I should need to worry about are the ones that come from the sky. Once that's done, scrape up troops from wherever you can find them. Any world anywhere in the borough, and send them to the villa. Priority one is to subjugate the terrorist who deceived the royal family. <laughs> Nicely done. Of course it was. I've served with this unit for some time, unlike you. I swear, I will protect this castle while His Excellency is absent, no matter the cost. Okay, here's how we're going to free Grand Cell Castle and the Queen. First, Joshua and two others will infiltrate the Grand Cell sewers. You'll proceed to the Royal Guardroom and open the castle gate. Time to light a few fireworks. <laughs> well, it does seem appropriate for the beginning of the final act. As soon as the gates are open, the Guardsmen and four of the Bracers will make their way to the castle by way of the streets. We need to make a real spectacle to draw all of the guards together in one place. You're in good hands. Alright, I've been looking forward to this. And finally... Your Highness, are you certain I cannot get you to reconsider? I'm sorry, but I must be there to help my grandmother. Also, I know how to pilot an airship. I hope to be able to put that skill to good use. If I'd known this would happen, I never would have taught you. It's okay, Lieutenant. We'll look after Chloe for you. I swear, she will be kept safe or my nickname isn't the Silver Streak. I understand. Please do what you can. Once the men inside the castle have been concentrated into one area, Estelle and her team will set down on the garden terrace. Then they will break into the Queen's room and rescue her. Roger. Both operations will begin at the stroke of the noon bell. Everyone is to remain on alert until then. All right, you have your tasks. Get to them. Dismissed. Joshua, please be careful. Don't go taking any unnecessary risks. I'll be fine. And you try to be on your best behavior. Don't overestimate your own strength, and make sure you watch Shira's back. I understand. Whatever happens, remember our promise. We see each other again, safe and sound, in Grand Cell Castle. Count on it. Joshua, there's no telling what kinds of creatures inhabit the sewers. Please take the utmost care. I know, and I will. And don't worry about Estelle. You've grown so much during this trip of yours. Not just in your skills and bracer qualifications, but in your hearts. Or so it seems to me. Sh Shira? What does that mean? It it's nothing. Save it for later. <laughs> Even in times of crisis, you can always count on these two brats. <laughs> Quite so. Now, I think we'll be heading out. May we meet again, my lovelies. Adios be with you. Joshua? Princess, do you ever wonder if those two have some kind of destiny in store for them? <laughs> yes, thought has crossed my mind. They always have a smile for each other. I have to admit, I'm even the tiniest bit envious. Looks like the regular soldiers have been replaced with these special ops guys. 
The enemy's probably gotten quite desperate since we liberated the villa. Security seems a lot tighter than normal. Perhaps I can help loosen them up with the dulcet tones of my loot? You do anything conspicuous and that guy will be on you faster than you can say off-key. Mueller, wasn't it? Y yes, it was. <sighs> you two should definitely, must, rather not, go near the Erebonian Embassy. It could be quite dangerous, yes, quite perilous indeed. <laughs> Well, neither of us has time to just drop by there. Once preparations are complete, we have to get inside the sewers. All right. This game is so intense and I love it. We're gonna stop right there for this one. It ended up being longer than I intended, but that's okay. In the next one, we will head towards the sewers and try to rescue the queen. This game is progressing so quickly and I'm very happy and very sad about it at the same time. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will catch you next time.